in the previous video we discussed about the diabetes mellitus and its types. If you want to watch that video first the link is in the description. Now in this video we will be discussing about the insulin signaling pathway. This pathway regulates blood glucose levels and we know insulin decreases blood glucose levels and it must be noted here it is the glucagon which is the antagonist of insulin. And if we see what this pathway does, the insulin pathway basically mediates the uptake of glucose molecules from blood via GLUT4 channels. The signaling molecule in this pathway is insulin and the signaling receptor is insulin receptor which is a class of receptor tyrosine kinase molecules. And the major important kinase molecule in this pathway is protein kinase B or AKT. Now let's get to the pathway in detail. Here in this diagram we see we have the plasma membrane of the cell. It has got insulin receptor in the form of monomers embedded in the plasma membrane. Like we have two monomers here. The insulin receptor monomer has got one beta subunit that gets into the cell through membrane and to it we have extracellular alpha subunit bind as shown in the diagram. And we also have PIP2 molecule bound to the cell membrane as shown in the diagram. Now to start a pathway, we have insulin molecules present outside of the cell. The insulin molecules comes in and binds on the alpha subunit of receptor as shown in the animation. This ligand binding or the insulin binding drives the dimerization of insulin receptor as shown in the diagram. And from this dimerization we get the intracellular cross phosphorylation of tyrosine domains on beta subunit of receptor. Now from here the downstream molecules are recruited and activated. First of all, the IRS molecule comes in and binds with the activated receptor as shown in the diagram. Then this activated IRS molecule recruits and activates the P85 subunit of PI3 kinase, which in turn recruits the P110 subunit of PI3 kinase that is catalytic unit of PI3 kinase. So we have now fully activated PI3 kinase. And this activated PI3 kinase acts on PIP2 and converts it into PIP3 as shown in the animation. And furthermore, this PIP3 activates the membrane bound PDK1 molecule and other kinases. Now from here we have the inactive PKB or AKT molecule. So in order to activate the PKB molecule, it's first recruited towards the plasma membrane. And here it's acted upon by PDK1 molecule. And this PDK1 molecule phosphorylates the AKT threonine residue at 308 which partially activates the AKT protein. Then we also have the PDK2 molecule which phosphorylates AKT at serine 473 residue that completely activates the AKT protein. Now let's keep the activated AKT protein here for some time. On the other hand we have the GLUT4 vesicle which needs to be translocated to the plasma membrane for fusion. But its translocation is inhibited by AS160 protein. It inhibits the translocation of GLUT4 vesicle towards the plasma membrane. But once we have AKT activated via insulin pathway, the AKT phosphorylates the AS160 at threonine 642 and serine 588, thereby inhibiting its activity. So when AS160 is inhibited, the GLUT4 vesicle is easily translocated to the plasma membrane for fusion and we get the GLUT4 channels in the plasma membrane as shown in the diagram. And these channels will then uptake the glucose molecules from blood thereby decreasing the blood glucose levels. On the other hand we have the GSK3 molecule. It inhibits the glycogen synthesis. So we need to inhibit this GSK3 molecule so that glycogen synthesis will go on. And here it is done by the AKT molecule also. The AKT molecule inhibits the GSK3 molecule thus driving the glycogen synthesis again. Furthermore, we see the AKT also activates the mTOR C1 protein, which inhibits the IRS protein in a negative feedback loop. So, in nutshell, we see the insulin pathway mediates the uptake of glucose from blood via GLUT4 channels and also ramps up the glycogen synthesis within the cell. So, this is all about the insulin signaling pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.